Hello and welcome to the Mule Byte series presented by the Center of Excellence team at Royal Cyber. In this video, we will show you how to integrate MuleSoft JOT validation policy with Azure Active Directory. Let's take a look at the agenda today. In this video, we will see how to register an application in Azure portal, how to generate JOT token using REST client, how to enforce JOT validation policy in MuleSoft using API Manager. In the end, through a quick demo, we will take a look at how the integration works. So here is the Azure portal that allows to register a new application. First, we need to register a new Mule application here. Once the Mule application has been created, all its contents will become visible in the owned application. Here, we need to copy the client ID and the tenant ID for later use. After that, we will go to add an application ID URI and create a new scope. Moving on, we will come to certificates and secrets. Here, we will create a new client secret. And after that, we can generate a JOT token, which will test after enforcing JOT policy in MuleSoft AnyPoint platform. Next, we look into enforce MuleSoft JOT validation policy using API Manager. Here, first we need to log into MuleSoft platform and using API Manager, we will go to Active API version. Then we will go to apply a new policy and configure the JOT validation with latest version. In the JOT validation policy, we will go to JOCS URL and paste the authorization endpoint URL along with the tenant ID and application ID. We will skip the client ID validation and apply the policy. And after applying the JOT policy, we will copy the REML contents from API specification and paste it into the REML file. Let's move on to the demo and see how this works. In the Azure portal, search for the Azure Active Directory. Click on the Azure Active Directory. And in the left navigation, Scroll down and click on App Registrations. Now click on New Registration, enter the display name, and click on Register. Once the Mule app has been created, click on Mule app. Copy the tenant ID and client ID for later use. Click on Add an Application ID URI. The Application ID URI is set by default. So click on Add a Scope. Fill all the required fields and then click Add Scope. Copy the scope URI for later use and in the left navigation, click Certificates and Secrets. Click New Client Secret. Set the description and click Add. Once the client secret is created, copy the new client secret value. Now after the JOT validation policy, we will show you how to generate the JOT token through the Azure portal. Let's now log into the AnyPoint platform to know how to configure JOT validation policy to secure your MuleSoft API. I have created a simple API and deployed to Cloud Hub. Now we will see how to apply JOT policy on this API to enforce a JOT validation policy. Click on Main menu and in the left side navigation, select API Manager. Select the API and in the left side navigation, click on policies. Now click on apply new policy to see the list of built-in policies. Scroll down until you see JOT validation policy. Expand JOT validation. Click on latest version and configure policy. I have already created, so I will cancel and edit the policy. As you can see, this policy mandates all calls to the API to include the JSON web token. To use the API, you also need to update the REML specs for this policy to function. You can select options based on your need to enforce this policy. There are a couple of key things to remember. Select HTTP bearer authentication header as the JOT origin. If you choose JOT key origin as JOCS, then you should specify a URL of the JOT server. For this demo, we are using MS Azure Active Directory 
as the job server where the application is registered. If you wish, you can validate client ID in the same step by specifying client ID expression in the field. I will skip. Finally, you can choose to apply this policy to all API methods and resources running in the Cloud Hub or specific ones. Since I have already published this policy, I will cancel the operation for now. You can go back and check policy configuration by clicking View Details. Next step is to update Reml spec of this API. Now click on API specification snippet. This is API specification snippet for JOT validation. Copy the traits from here and close the dialog box. Click main menu and select design center. Click on mule application API specification, paste traits under title and the make is JOT condition and publish API to exchange. Now come to Postman. First, we will see how to generate JOT token. Select post request in the URL type HTTPS login.microsoftonline.com tenant ID slash OAuth2 slash V2 dot zero slash token. Now we set parameters. Grant type is password, client secret, which we have already noticed from Azure. Client ID, we have already noticed after app registration. Scope, here you put the URI scope, which we have already noticed in Azure. Two other parameters, Azure username and Azure password. Send post request. Now we can see status is 200 OK. Access token is also generated here. Copy the JOT token. In a new tab, call API. It should return JOT token is required. In the authorization tab, select bearer token. Paste the JOT token into bearer token value and press send. Here we can see status 200 OK and results are appeared here. Thank you for watching this episode of Mule Bytes. Please hit the bell icon to subscribe to the channel and get more exciting videos as such. You can also leave a comment with topics that you'd like to see in the future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.